back. In this video we're going to be talking about free fall. We've already talked about velocity and velocity is displacement. So if you move an object from somewhere to somewhere else and you time how long it takes to move it, that's the velocity. Now remember velocity has a direction to it. So displacement is if I'm moving from somewhere to somewhere else there's a direction to that movement. And if I have a direction to displacement, then I have, and then I divide it by time, then I have a direction in my velocity. It means my speed is going in a certain direction. If I take the difference in speed or the change in speed and time how fast it gets faster or how fast it gets slower, then I have acceleration. So we're going to look at a specific case here of acceleration, and that's free fall. Free, free fall is when you're dropping an object and the earth is putting a force on that object of gravity pulling that object. Remember if you have a force, uh, uh, unbalanced force on an object you're going to get an acceleration. The earth is a certain size and if you compared all other objects to the earth all the other objects that would fall on the earth are so little compared to the earth that all of those little objects are going to fall to the earth. So if you drop me out of an airplane or you drop or you throw a baseball, uh, both of us are going to accelerate to the earth. And the pull is always based upon the size of the earth, which never changes. So that, that force is going to, to make a, an acceleration. If the planet were bigger, the force would be bigger and the acceleration would be bigger. If the planet were smaller, it would be a smaller acceleration. But we're going to see that the Earth exerts a, 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 an average acceleration of 10 meters per second, every second. That means you're speeding up at 10 meters per second every second that you're falling. You'll go 10 meters per second in the first second. You'll go 20 in the second second. You'll go 30 in, in the next second. You're getting faster, faster, faster. Now the, the number that actually accepted value is 9.81 meters per second per second. You can also call this meters per second squared. Okay, so meters per second every second is meters per second squared. That's acceleration. Now you have to take into consideration that there's no air. Air would slow you down, and you would not speed up that much. You would have, uh, it would be close, I'm sure, but it would, the math would not work because those air molecules are in your way, and as you're plowing into that air by falling, the air slows you down. So if you want to do this 10, 20, 30 thing that we're going to look at today, you really have to consider that you have no air resistance. This is now called free fall. You're simply dropping. And, the, and that acceleration is downward towards the ground due to gravity. You also have to count. So you want to know how much time has elapsed since it dropped. So how, much did it, how fast is it moving in the first second? You would have to time that so that you know one second has gone by. All right, so it's so it's an elapsed time. It starts at zero and goes to one second two as you're as you're timing it. Your acceleration, if you remember this from before, is the is the division problem of your change in velocity. I'm going to say instead of speed. Remember, speed has no direction. Velocity has a direction. If velocity has a direction, acceleration has a direction. And if I'm moving towards the Earth, I have an acceleration. Gravity has an acceleration down towards the Earth, always. So acceleration is the change in velocity over time. It's 10 meters per second every second. So that's what it means by 10 meters per second divided by seconds. Your answer then is 10 meters per second squared. Okay. So um, the, the, the second square messes a lot of people up. They don't know how to think that through. All I'm doing is dividing by seconds twice. I've taken the displacement and divided by time. That got me the velocity. Now my, my change in velocity, I would also have to time that. How fast did I change velocity? And since I change velocity uh, you know, in seconds, I have to divide by seconds again. 
that's where the second squared comes through. I'm, I'm dividing displacement by time and then taking that product or that quotient, divide it by time, and that's where the, the, the seconds come from. Now the G is gravity, and it's your acceleration. It's acceleration due to gravity. We give it its, its own little letter because the acceleration of gravity is always the same. You're, you're never going to have a different acceleration of gravity. The Earth exerts a certain pull on us. It's 9.81 specifically, but that's so close to 10 that it's easy to think in 10s. Rather than thinking 9.81s, so that's a little bit harder to count. I can count by 10s easier. So it's, it's close enough for us to think in 10s. So every, every second it's going to get 10 meters per second faster. So the velocity is going to be equal to gravity times the seconds that it's dropping. So if you drop a rock and gravity is 10 meters per second, multiply 10 meters per second times seconds, seconds will cancel, one of those seconds will cancel, and you'll end up with uh, whatever it is. So 10 meters per second at one second, you'll end up with 10, 10 meters a second. That means after one second, you're going to drop 10 meters per second. That will be your speed. What about after two seconds? Take 10 meters per second times two, okay, and you'll go 20 meters per second. Times three, 30 meters per second. So that's how it is. It's very easy to think it through. So that's what, that's what we're talking about. If you had a speedometer on a rock, it would measure 10 and then 20 and then 30. Every second, it would get 10 more. The math is really easy. You're just adding by 10s. Every second, you're adding by 10s. So you're going to drop 10 and then 20 and then 30, etc. Now, an average speed, if you want to take the average speed of a falling object, you have to take its initial velocity its final velocity and then divide by two. You add them together and divide by two. So, if you want to take the average velocity of the first second, it started off at zero, went to 10. So you have to take zero plus 10, which is 10, divided by two, and you have five. So its average velocity in the first second is dropping at five meters per second. Okay, we'll see that in the second second, you have to go from 10 to 20. Well, that's going to be faster. That means that you're speeding up as you get to the Earth. That's interesting. That's what acceleration means. You're speeding, speeding, speeding as you get to the Earth. So this average would be, you know, 10 plus 0 divided by 2 is 5. And we'll look at it more in a second. Now, rising objects, if you're going in the same direction, since this, there's a, dire a vector direction to speed, if you're going heading to the Earth, it's going to speed up. It'll go 10, 20, 30 every second. If you're, if you're throwing an object away from the Earth, so straight up, it's going to slow down at that same rate. So it's a negative acceleration. That means every, every second you're going to lose 10 meters per second. So if you throw it at 30 meters per second, after one second it's going to lose 10, so it'll be 20. After a second second it'll lose another 10, and it'll be 10. After a third second, it'll lose its last 10, and it'll be zero. You've, if anybody that's ever thrown a ball straight up and it drops back down, you know that that's what we're talking about. It's going to go to a zero point where it just hovers for a split second and then drops again. And so it's going to change direction and then head back to the Earth, speeding up as it goes. So during, during the upward point, it slows down to zero. And then from zero, it's going to speed back up as if you dropped it. So throwing a ball straight up is as if you dropped it at that high place above your head. Because you, you slowed it down there and it becomes zero. It's almost like you dropped a ball. So throwing a ball is like dropping a ball. It's just that the distance above your head have to be considered. Wherever that zero is, that would be just like dropping it. Rather than that there be a, a velocity attached to it. Now, the instantaneous speed is what's changing, right? After one second, it goes 10. After two seconds, it goes 20. It's, it's not an average speed. It's 10, 20, 30. Is it's right there at that moment. How fast is it going? So during each second, it changes, either speeds up if it's falling, 
or slows down if it's rising by 10 meters per second. So here's a picture. It leaves my hand at 30 meters per second. So after one second, it's going to lose 10 and become 20. After another second, it's going to lose another 10 and become 10. After that third second, it's going to lose another 10 and become zero. Then turn around and it's going to start speeding up. And then it's going to it's going to speed up at 10 meters per second. So one second uh, one second after that zero, it's going to be. Um, 10 and then after that next second 20 30 so it's almost like dropping it the next the next idea is another average so if you were to take that second second going from 10 to 20 you have to average them together so you add them 10 plus 20 is 30 divide by 2 and so you would end up with 15 meters per second. So in the first second, remember, it was 5 meters per second average. In the second second, it's 15. Way faster. And can you guess then what the third second? It's going to be way more than 15. Every second, it's going to speed up more and more. Your, your acceleration is constant, but your speed increases all the way. So 15 is, is the answer then, okay? That's the acceleration average speed, okay? What would the speedometer on the rock be after 4.5 seconds, okay? Well, your speed, remember, is gravity times time, so 4.5 times 10, okay? So 4.5, if you were to take 4.5, multiply by 10, you're just going to change the decimal point. You're going to be at 45 miles an hour, or 45 meters per second, sorry. 45 meters per second. If you wait until 8 seconds, it would be 10 times 8, which is 80. 80 meters per second. Okay. So the acceleration of an object in free fall is constant. The acceleration of gravity never changes but the speed of the object falling will get faster. I hope that helped you.